everybody welcome back to my channel if you've been following me for a while you know that I am a big fan of routine and creating daily routines that help you make the most out of your day life can often feel chaotic and hard to keep up with and that's when I find myself relying on my own daily routines to help keep me centered I feel like routines came more natural growing up in school and in college and even whenever I was a classroom teacher Ever since changing careers and working from home, I've found that now it's up to me to fill my own day with small habits that help keep me productive, motivated to get the important things done, and most of all, just help me enjoy my days more. are the habits that have helped me live a more balanced and happy life. Yours might be similar or completely different and that's okay, but I hope this video inspires you to fill your days with small moments that bring you joy and help get you closer to where you want to be in life. Thank you to Rocket Money for sponsoring today's video. I can't wait to tell you more about them later. A lot of the most important habits I've created happen in the morning time. I start my day around 7 or 8 o'clock every morning. Setting an alarm for the same time every morning has not only helped me feel more productive, but it's also helped my body's internal clock by getting used to rising at the same time every morning. I aim to get at least 8 hours of sleep every night, and I find the days when I get any less than that, I'm much less likely to get anything done the next day. I prioritize my sleep and rest over anything because I know that it makes me a happier and more motivated person. Upon rising and getting out of bed, I used to be the person to check my phone first thing and often consume a lot of negative information and overstimulating content before my brain has even awoken. This negative energy first thing in the morning would affect me throughout my entire day without me even realizing it. I'm not perfect, but I do try my best not to go on my phone or look online until I have had a slow and peaceful start to my morning. I've noticed that this has really helped my overall mood so much throughout the day. The first step of my day usually starts in the bathroom with brushing my teeth, splashing cold water on my face, and doing my morning skincare. Though this only takes me about 10 minutes max, it really helps wake me up and makes me feel like I've accomplished something within the first few minutes of my day. I've been loving using this Tula SPF moisturizer and eye balm. It leaves you so glowy, hydrated, and awake looking while also protecting your skin from the sun. Usually once I'm feeling more awake and not like a total zombie, I make my way out to the kitchen to make my morning coffee. I personally love making my own coffee in the morning because I love the routine of it all and the smell of fresh coffee grounds filling the house in the morning. It's such a cozy part of my routine that I really look forward to every morning. While the coffee is brewing, I like to do a few things around the house that actually kind of help wake me up, like tidying up the living room from the night before. There's usually blankets and pillows everywhere. I like to open up the blinds to let some light in. I like to water the plants and tend to those. And of course, I love to make my bed. Overall, just spending a few moments in the morning making my environment more clean, more cozy, and just a space that I wanna be in throughout the day. Something that's always been easy to forget for me is to take my vitamins, so I do set aside time every morning to take my vitamins with a full glass of water before drinking any coffee. 
This helps me feel more hydrated starting off my day and like I'm doing something good for my body first thing in the morning. Now, this doesn't happen every single morning, but something that I've found helps ease my anxiety is to just sit down in the morning and journal out all of my thoughts. I have a tendency to overthink pretty much at all points of the day, and it does help so much to get all of my thoughts onto paper, both the good and the bad. I write down what's on my mind, what's bothering me, what I need to work on, along with what I'm grateful for and things that I'm looking forward to. I found taking the time to write down these things helps me go through my day a lot more clear-headed. Along with journaling first thing in the morning, it's really important that I plan out my day in an organized way. I'm not the type to just wing every day and hope that I get things done. I like to sit down with my daily planner and write down the top things I hope to get done that day along with an hour by hour time schedule to keep me on track. There's really nothing better than checking off tasks as you go throughout your day, so I usually make a to-do list for myself every day. Along with planning out my day comes filling in my daily budget planner. I've found keeping track of my finances has helped my anxiety about money so much. I feel like money can be such a taboo or hush topic to talk about, but it's something we all deal with the pressures of every single day, so I wanted to share some tips I've learned that have helped me along the way with you. Life is increasingly more busy and more expensive than ever, and and managing your money properly has never been more important. There's nothing that adds more unnecessary stress in my life than being behind on bills, and that's why creating a budget that works for you is so important. I've been using an app called Rocket Money to help ease my stress around finances by helping me cancel unwanted subscriptions, lower my overall bills, set up a budget, and monitor my credit. Ever since Kyle and I decided to start saving up money for a new home, Rocket Money has been a huge help, helping us ultimately save more and spend less. I'm the type to sign up for all these different subscriptions and forget to cancel them. The fact that Rocket Money has a reminder to cancel subscriptions alone is enough to make me download the app, but along with important reminders about subscriptions, they also remind you to set budgets and monitor your spending. Rocket Money can even help you negotiate your bills from your internet service bills and even to your phone bills. I cannot tell you how much money it has helped me save and even helped improve my credit score drastically. If you're someone in need of organizing your finances and help creating a budget, try out Rocket Money for free and unlock even more features with premium. Head to rocketmoney.com slash Madison Campbell or click the link in the description box below. I find especially since I do work from home, it can be easy to stay inside all day, so I make it a priority to get outside and get fresh air throughout my days. Even if it's just a few minutes, sitting outside in the morning, drinking my coffee, taking Nala Girl on a walk outside, or bringing my laptop to get work done at a cafe nearby. Just taking the time to get out of the house helps me feel more inspired and more creative. It also helps me to continue to love my home, even though it's also the place that I work from. Whether you're a morning or night person, working out or getting some form of exercise in my day is so important. This year, I've been more of a morning workout person, and I've also been more in tune with my body and my exercise routine than ever before. I used to force myself to do all of these intense workouts, and honestly, just workouts I didn't even enjoy because I saw other people doing them, and I thought I had to do it too. It wasn't until this year I realized fitness is so much more fun and more enjoyable when you stop putting pressure behind it. I only do workouts that I genuinely enjoy and want to do. Not only has my attitude changed towards my workout routine, but my body has been responding more positively as well. If you struggle with staying consistent, something that's helped me is creating a workout plan for the week and adding a lot of variety in my week to give me things to actually look forward to. I like to incorporate exercises that I genuinely enjoy like yoga, weightlifting, running, hiking, or even just walking outside into my routine. Keeping that variety and keeping things fun and light has helped me stay more active than ever this year. Along 
with creating a workout routine, I've found creating a meal plan for the week as well has helped me stay on track. I don't know if you're like me, but if I have no plan, I'm much more likely to eat out during the week or just be lazy with my meals, usually leading me to eat nothing but unhealthy meals for that week. Taking a few minutes to write down your meals for the week and plan out a grocery list will really help keep you from getting off track. Now, like I said, I can be a bit lazy with my meals throughout the week, and the biggest thing that's helped me is prepping my snacks, prepping my fruits and veggies ahead of time. If I don't have a healthy snack available, I'm much more likely to grab the first salty, unhealthy snack nearby. But if I have fresh fruit or fresh veggies ready for snacking, then I'm much more likely to grab a healthy snack. Take the time one day a week just to rinse and put away your fruits and veggies for easy snacking access. I promise it helps. One habit I want to make sure I mention in this video is that finding balance in your days is also so important. Remember, it's okay to do nothing and just to let your mind and body rest and to enjoy a few moments to yourself. Whether that means getting outside, watching TV and completely unwinding, taking a nap, getting lunch with a friend, or reading a book, remember to enjoy your life and that as humans, we're not meant to be on all the time or go, go, go 24 hours a day. Your mind, body, and spirit needs rest, and you'll find yourself much more productive if you give your body the rest that it needs. When it comes to lunch and dinners, the most important habit I've formed is to keep it simple and only eat when I'm hungry. Some days I'm in the mood for a big green salad, other days I'm in the mood for a big bowl of pasta. Either way, I eat what I'm craving, and finding balance in that has really helped my relationship with food. As for keeping it simple, I used to stress about making these elaborate meals that would take 45 minutes to an hour every night, and I found that it was adding stress to my plate rather than just looking forward to my meals. Now, Kyle and I try to keep it simple with just a protein, a veggie, and a starch or a healthy fat. Of course, we have our days we eat more carbs than veggies, but keeping it simple has helped me look forward to and enjoy my meals a lot more. A habit that's helped me unplug at the end of the day is to spend time with someone I love. In that case, it's usually Kyle since we live together, but putting the phone down, stepping away from work for the day, and spending time with a family member, friends, or loved ones has helped me realize what's really important in life and really put things into perspective. Even if it's just eating dinner together and watching a movie without being on our phones, just spending that quality time with someone can make all the difference in your day and it's what really brings me the most joy. favorite part of my night routine is washing my face, getting into comfy clothes, and making myself a cup of hot nighttime tea. Winding down for me also means closing the house at night and preparing my mind for sleep. I make sure to clean the kitchen at night just because it really does help me sleep at night knowing I'm waking up to a clean kitchen. It's always so hard when I'm tired and ready for bed, but I'm always grateful for it in the morning. Now, every night is different, but something I'm really trying to work on is to not consume any negative content right before bed. 
I try not to mindlessly scroll on my phone because before I know it, I'm down a rabbit hole of bad news in the world and comparing myself to other people's seemingly perfect lives. Instead, I try to focus on what I can control and all the good that happened that day. Even making the choice to read a book rather than scroll on social media has helped my mental health so much. Going to bed with a clear and grateful mind has helped me get a much better night of sleep. I hope these habits have helped inspire you to live a slower, simpler, and more intentional life and find daily habits that work for you. Comment down below a daily habit that has helped you transform your own life. Thank you for watching and supporting, and I love you all. I will see you all in my next video. Night.